we have one of our, well, actually the most popular hot dog on the menu is the Brownsville Bourbon Filet Mignon Steak Dog. So, mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, so here we are, uh, the hot dog box. We're down here in, we're down here in Brownsville, um, which is. Uh, the black metropolis in Chicago. It has so much culture. Uh, so many famous people came through this. Uh, you know, um, obviously, what, what are some names? Um, Ida B. Wells, Gwendolyn Brooks, oh, the no. Marx Brothers, Quincy Jones, Bessie Coleman, Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke. Uh, all, of them, all of them. All of them. Anyway, yeah, so I'm down here with, uh, this is Bobby Morelli. Yes, Bobby Morelli, and, and this is Brooklyn Jade. Brooklyn my, my, Jade. Yeah, my nine-year-old daughter. Anyway, so uh, how long have you guys actually been running this hot dog stand? Well, actually, we've been running this hot dog stand since August of 2020. August of 2020. Yeah, so, so not even a year yet. Okay, so you guys started during the pandemic, we huh? We started during the pandemic. And, and what made you decide to start a business during the pandemic? Uh, I was tired of the pandemic. <laughs> um, actually, it was a pivot project for myself. Um, I owned a marketing and web design agency and I serviced a lot of small business clients, small restaurants, um, beauty salons, beauty shops, things of that sort. And a lot of them went out of business and I had to make a strategic pivot. And I was like, well, the pandemic has been stressful. Uh, the racial inequality, like all this other stuff has been very stressful and we had a front row seat to it. And I'm like, I gotta get out the house. And right. uh, hot dogs was like calling my name. So, and we love a good Chicago style hot dog. Well, and you know, as far as the pandemic, you're you know kind of set up here with the walk up, so it's yeah. you don't have to worry about you know having exactly. people inside. It, it just made great sense. Like when I saw the the space, I was like, yeah, this is perfect. People just walk up, place their order, you know, and then to go on home, whoever right. they want to go, go to the park. So now, how was it day one? I mean, you just opened the window and just like tried to catch people walking by. And pretty much, but day one, we actually had a line down the street really uh, people were waiting for us um, so people yeah. knew people knew you were coming yeah they kind of had an idea because initially this box was black right. and they saw this big red box and the hot dog box and we had a sign and they was like oh we got to see what that's so all about so the first thing you did was paint up the box yeah, so before we even coming. came in yeah ah that's a great idea yeah now what about brooklyn here brooklyn how how fast were you involved in this project uh from the get-go from the get-go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what, what did you help do when it was getting started? Um, I helped get bags ready and take orders. Take orders? Yeah. So yeah. now it looks like that's what your main thing is, is you're the face of this place, right? Yep. Everybody comes up and orders from you? Yep. And uh, how is it, uh, you know, getting to interact with the public, getting to interact, talk to everybody? It's fun. I like meeting new people. Come and that's cool. So yeah, she likes some tips too. Oh, hey, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so uh, now you've been out here. You guys are four days a week, right? Yeah, four days a week. And uh, what's your plan? Uh, you've got a new location opening up. Where yeah, is the new location? We have the new location in Portage Park. Portage Park. Uh, the Portage Park neighborhood. Um, six Corners, actually. Um, and we're excited about that. Oh, the uh, real Six Corners. The real Six Corners, yes. yes. So we're excited about that. We'll be offering um, mo a whole new um, hot dog line and stuff like that. Just many, uh, we get the chance to actually explore, you know, a little bit more in depth than we are here because this is more, more of a carry out. Uh, and more carry space. Out. Yeah, Just definitely right. more space because we've uh -huh. tried it with, you know, having six, seven different hot dogs and then all it takes is like 20 people to come up and want three or four different hot dogs and then it's just bananas and gotcha. so, all right yeah well um yes we're down here in bronzeville and uh we're at the hot dog box and i'm actually really excited to get some food because i am starving um but you guys have anything else to say to anybody i mean well we look forward to you guys stopping by and uh make sure you just come by and say hello can't wait to see you guys Yes. We have one of our, well, actually the most popular hot dog on the menu is the Brownsville Bourbon Filet Mignon Steak Dog. So I dressed it up. We have, my wife and I, we do uh, barbecues at the house and we have this special bourbon barbecue sauce that we use and I brought it here to the hot dog box. So I'm topping that with the bourbon sauce. Uh, then we have a cabbage and carrot medley. Uh, then we put some hot sport peppers on there, and when I tell you guys, and then we nestled it in a, um, a pretzel bun, and it's like 
the best thing ever. If you, especially if you like barbecue sauce, like we make sure you get enough of that sauce. Um, then we have the stand style, which is our version of a Chicago style hot dog, uh, because you can't have a hot dog stand and not have Chicago style. Um, so uh, that comes with the poppy seed. Well, no, not the poppy seed. It actually comes with the mustard, the uh, onion sweet relish, everything that comes on a you know Chicago style it's hot dog. It's official, right? Yeah, it's official. Like we have it here. And then this is one that I'm most proud of. This is like the secret weapon. Um, of the hot dogs, if you will. It's the peanut, pickle and peanut butter minion dog. And actually on that dog, I do a spicy truffle peanut butter sauce. And we um, top it with some uh, uh, sweet pickles and then some crispy onions. And it's like a really delectable uh, hot dog. Aha, uh -huh. well, that sounds pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the peanut butter, now how is that made? So I, I make it myself. I, I can't give you guys the secret sauce. Oh, no, um, yeah. But we definitely make it in-house, and uh, we top the dog with that, and we put some um, the, the pickles on it and the crispy onions. It has a good crunch, sweet, and it's a, little, uh, a hint of uh, heat, um, and it, it's flavorful, really good. Okay, now you've got these dogs today. How much does this uh, change up? Yeah, so we're getting ready to gear up for our, well, we're gearing up for our summer glizzy series. Um, so in June, we'll have, um, the middle of June, we'll have uh, a new dog every week. So we'll be coming, I, I can't let it out the bag right now, but we'll be coming with some amazing combinations um, for the filet mignon steak hot dog. All right, well, uh, yeah, I think the, you know, switching it up every week and keeping something special for somebody to come back to, you know, yeah. I mean, somebody can come back weeks later and there's something they've never something had new. before, Something right? new, yeah. That's so we'll great. still keep the, the, the number one seller and the Chicago style, but the third one will be changing every week. Uh, all right, yeah. okay, cool. So, yeah, going to switch it up. And, uh, yes, uh, out of these, which, are, which is your favorite hot dog? My favorite is actually the Brownsville bourbon as well. <laughs> like this one is really good. I, don't, I love this one, but the favorite, my go-to would be Brownsville bourbon. Okay, I'm gonna ask Brooklyn, but one, one more thing is I saw that you guys had a salmon burger. Salmon dog. A yes. salmon dog, yeah, yeah, not burger. A salmon yeah. dog. What's the story with the salmon dog? Yeah, so we do have a wild Alaskan salmon dog. Um, I actually took it off the menu for this week, um, but it's an actual wild Alaskan salmon in hot dog form. And um, yeah, we'll be bringing that back as well for, for the summer. All right, I'm excited to catch that one in the future. <laughs> yeah. All right, now, Brooklyn, what is your favorite hot dog? I think I do like the Bronx food bourbon, but I think my most favorite is the pickle and peanut butter mini dog. And what do you what do you like most about that? Mostly the sauce and the like sweet pickles. Sweet pickles. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, you guys, I'm really excited to be down here and uh, really excited to try some food. We're at the hot dog box down in Bronzeville, and uh, this is definitely a place that you're going to want to get to. Uh, we're going to try the food out and definitely let you know it's a place to get to. Awesome. Thank you all so thank much. You, thank you. Good. All right, let me get one of these bronze, Bronzeville bourbons, and I'll take that pickle and peanut butter menu. Oh my gosh, potato sticks. You've got to be kidding me, man. Where else do you go and get potato sticks? <laughs> no plan. I think it's going to cut evenly here. Oh man, I'm good. Oh my goodness. Okay, since I cut, you pick. Oh, go on. We have napkins. We do. All right, since I cut you pick. Okay, okay, so here we are in Boxville. Uh, we cut the first one in half. This is the peanut butter hot dog. So let's see what we got. Mmm. 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 Oh, wow, that is amazing. So the first thing you bite into, the first thing you get is the pickle. It is a really wonderful pickle on it. I love pickles. But then uh, also one of the first things you get is that crispy on top. What is that onion, uh, the 
fried onions, very crispy. But then when you sink into the hot dog itself and the peanut butter hits you, wow. Um, it's pretty amazing. Never really would have thought to pair a hot dog and peanut butter. Um, obviously, this is not your average hot dog. This is uh, a little bit higher quality, but man, the pairing is really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, man. Mmm. 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 Yes, this is wonderful. Uh, this is a really wonderful combination of flavors, so. Peanut butter hot dog, man, one definitely one of the better hot dogs I've had. Uh, Got to get into the barbecue next. Okay, so now this is a filet mignon uh, barbecue hot dog. So I see, I see some uh, like slaw, some cabbage and carrots, um, bacon bits. There's a slice of bacon on it. There's a sport pepper. There's pretty decent amount of barbecue sauce on it. So I think this might be a little messy, but. I have to tell you, hot dog number two, filet mignon. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. We'll film in here with the L roaring next to us. Man, that was a really delicious bite. Um, Sport pepper fell to the ground, so I gotta eat it. Anyway, so yes, the filet mignon bacon, uh, filet mignon uh, barbecue burger, barbecue dog. I don't know why I keep saying burger. Okay, this is wonderful. This is a barbecue filet mignon dog, so obviously it's very hearty. Mmm, really good barbecue. Mmm. Oh my gosh, man, this is not a hot dog. This is a meal. It's really good. Uh, I'm just really blown away. Hot dog box, man, they are doing some really good stuff. Uh, you definitely want to come down to Bronzeville. And if you don't get down here, they'll be to Portage Park soon. Uh, but you definitely want to try these hot dogs. I picture this place uh, being the next hot dogs. Um, if you know anything about hot dogs, if you've ever been to hot dogs, you're going to want to come to the hot dog box because this is it, man. This is, uh, this is the next big uh, hot dog thing in Chicago, and you want to try it early. You want to try it now. Thanks. Hey, just a really quick follow-up. Uh, Boxville, it was uh, really delicious food, but it's a, it's a package thing. So you order the hot dog, and that comes with the... Uh, potato sticks and then also a drink which is a can of soda so just wanted to follow up to let you know what you're getting into um, so it's a it's a good lunch thanks hey what's going on uh, we are here in Boxville uh, I assume that they will have some tables set up in here I was here a, a couple summers ago and they had a, actually it was a, a fall a couple of years ago and they had tables set up here and it was a pretty lively, but you know, we're just getting the summer season going. So I assume there will be tables out here and it will be a pretty lively place to grab some food and sit down to eat. But we're right off the 51st Street Green Line stop. So um, really easy to get to, but we just went to Hot Dog Box and uh, just a quick wrap up of Hot Dog Box. Best hot dog I've ever had in my life. The one, the filet mignon, it was, uh, it was really a lot of barbecue, but man, the, the hot dog with uh, the, their peanut butter sauce on there was just so good. Best hot dog I've ever had in my life. Um, so I definitely want to come back to this place. I can't wait to see their new place in Portage Park. But yes, we we're just sitting here in Boxville and uh, right here on uh, 51st Street in Bronzeville, which is a very famous neighborhood. So. Uh, yeah, if you're interested in exploring the city, you should definitely come down here and uh, check it out. There's caramel apples behind me. There's a, a bistro box with some Mexican food. But, you know, when, it, when this summer comes, this is going to be a pretty lively place. So definitely hit up Boxville and Bronzeville. Thanks.